Hello breathtaking people and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed related video. Today we're going to discuss an exciting topic that I can't wait to share with you guys. Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood are among my favourite games in the franchise. I have so many fond memories of being only 11 and 12 and discovering these games for the first time. They provided a wonderful escape from the realities of being a neurodivergent kid who could never quite fit in. The soundtracks are not only wonderful to listen to on their own, but enhance every moment of the game tenfold. The incredible art design enhances the environmental storytelling, and the sense of discovery and mystery that was always around the corner waiting to be found, rewarding you for your curiosity. The sense of discovery and mystery of Assassin's Creed was so good in the earlier games that I want to discuss why it worked so well, and how Ubisoft could incorporate this into Assassin's Creed Infinity without coming off as intrusive. The modern day in Assassin's Creed has always been criticised for being intrusive to the experience of playing the game, and while it's worth noting that I disagree with this entirely, at least in regards to the older games, I can understand where this is coming from. But I think a lot of that has to do with incorporation, and I think it can still feel important even when you're playing as the Assassin. The Spaniard has a brilliant video on why the modern day in AC1 works so well. Please subscribe to him. I'll link his channel in the description. He's so genuine and his videos have so much insight into Assassin's Creed and lots of heart. But what he mentions is that there's always this palpable tension in the modern day of AC1. And I think this comes from not only the claustrophobic setting, the fever dream feel of the dystopian visuals, but also in how both the Assassin story and the modern day story are thematically linked together in terms of story, and both stories run concurrently with this race against time aspect. There's this genuine feeling of fear and sense of stakes for the characters. And this is also prevalent in both Two and Brotherhood. But there's something else that allows it to be this way. And it's the sense of mystery, the fear of the unknown. Genuine palpable mystery is something that Assassin's Creed has been lacking for a long time. And with the latest rumours of Assassin's Creed Infinity's modern day involving a time jump to the end of the 21st century, we truly are leaping into the unknown. And I think Ubisoft should seize this opportunity to bring back the puzzle solving and mystery elements that made the modern day worthwhile even when you were in the Animus. And I want to focus on the glyphs of AC2 and Brotherhood. What makes these so fascinating is that they're presented in this eerie, almost horror-like way where it's like you're uncovering a darker truth and it provides a lot of context behind the history of Abstergo, but also providing satisfying ways of introducing a piece of a larger story. Three thefts, hidden by the murders. People only see what they're trained to see, what the organization wants them to see. They also relate directly to what is going on in the modern day and push that storyline forward without ever actually taking you out of the animus. It still keeps you in that world and it's a large part of the reason why Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is my favourite AC game, because Max Alexis Cote claims that they couldn't find the balance, but I think they had the balance back in 2010. Every glyph or piece of modern day information you stumble upon in the animus pushes that storyline forward without ever taking you directly out of the animus. They also made sure that whatever glyph you discovered, it was always related to history with the paintings of Napoleon Bonaparte and images of World War II. And what's funny about the idea of having glyphs is that you don't have to ever engage with them at all. But it's one of those things where if you like that stuff and you want to learn more and get the full story, then you can. You can play Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood without ever knowing anything about Eve or Adam or Subject 16's secret message, but those things are there for those who want to piece together the whole story. This is actually why I sort of enjoy Black Flag's modern day, because it brought back this uncomfortable, suspenseful feeling whenever you're sneaking around and hacking into the Abstergo databases. And I think something like this being incorporated into the newer games in Assassin's Creed Infinity would not only add a lot of suspense, but give us a reason to care than simply having the modern day be there out of obligation. If Ubisoft wants more longevity out of Assassin's Creed, then what better way to do that than by giving the players mysteries to solve and piece together? It keeps the discussions on the game going strong, and I feel like Assassin's Creed for the longest time has had an issue of sacrificing its core identity to appease different demographics. But I do think there are ways for Assassin's Creed to keep true to itself while adventuring into new territory. Thank you so much once again for tuning into today's video and be sure to let me know in the comments your thoughts on this topic and I will see you guys on the next one.